Welcome to TYP Art Cruise. This year, for the first time, I went to Venice Art Biennale. Venice is a city of water, and I also found a lot of water in the artworks exhibited at the Biennale. So now, follow me for a quick visit. When you enter the main exhibition hall at Arsenal, one of the first artists you will discover is Belkis Ayon. This Cuban artist is famous for her calligraphy, which is a combination of printmaking and collage techniques. She used this technique to reveal the secret Afro-Cuban brotherhood and its mythology. But what I love the most is this fish painted in 1989. I find the depiction of the fishermen and their boats, the drawings, they are at the same time primitive and ultra-modern. A young signature style is the contrast between pitch black and glowing white, completed with multi-degree gray shades. But here the artist also illuminated the paper in blue, which brings up this feeling of crystal but chilly water. And we can see under this this chilly water. There are some mysterious beings that's probably swimming under. After Belkis Ayon's monochrome world, in the first room of the main exhibition hall at Arsenal, you will find some completely different water in the second room. Fish again, painted by the American artist Fikro Gabriel Jesus. Its color and texture remind me of the famous Murano glass produced in Venice. Gabriel Jesus actually arrived in U.S. in the teenager time as a refugee, and his family ran an Eastern African food restaurant to make a living. Painting was his way to express the complex emotion towards his home country. He longed for the magnificent nature in his home country, but at the same time, he was still traumatized by the human conflicts and civil wars there. Let us take a close look. At the fish painted by him, some of them have very expressive faces. There's this surrealism as well as absurdity. I think when you know the past of this artist, we can understand where that comes from. Biennale is a great chance also to discover young artists, which is the case for the British artist Jade Fadojutimi. Here you are looking at one of her paintings exhibited at the Biennale called. And the day she remembered how to purr. Actually, there's no indication about water in the title in this painting, but when looking at the blue and emerald color, it does make me think of water, probably related to my memories of snorkeling. Jed Fedu Jutimi actually applied a very interesting approach during her creation. She always listened to the music of Japanese animations or video games. And I can't help wondering, when she was working on this monumental artwork, is water ever hit her mind? Just several steps away from light and colors, you enter an obscure room. You cannot see clearly, but you can feel the space around you. And then there's a pool in front of you. You approach it. Yes, there's water in the pool, but it is muddy and thick. You want to touch the water. But the uneasiness holds you back. Who knows what is in the water or in the darkness? This is exactly my experience with Robert Grosvenor's block of water, created in 2009 and exhibited here at Venice Biennale. I still regret that I had not put my hand into the water because there's no sign said not doing that. And now looking again the photo and the video that I show you here. Actually, they seem way too bright compared with my memories. So the sensation or the experience of the viewer is also part of the art creation. The American artist Robert Grosvenor is famous for creating sculptures and installations with very strong industrial features, though a lot of times they were often handmade by himself. His creation takes into account the space where places the sculpture. As we can see with this block of water, and the artist extended his approach to architecture. Water does bring up very different feelings. When I stand in front of this painting by the Swiss artist Muriel Kemp, 
I can't help imagine how terrible it would be sinking into the water. The deep blue water under her brush is no longer soothing, but has turned into a freezing nightmare, devouring the mother and her child. Does the artist refer to the tragic destiny of humans caused by ourselves? You can find Ken's work in a dedicated room in the main exhibition hall at Giardini Venue for the Venice Biennale. Be prepared to discover this series called Our South Summer. Actually, I was rather shivering in front of her works, which are confrontational and have very strong emotion. Meanwhile, the Mexican artist Roberto Gil de Montaigne offered us a very different experience with water. Here, we have a young man, upside down, floating on the water, surrounded by the flowers. He actually referred to the famous romantic heroine from Shakespeare's drama Hamlet, Ophelia. Ophelia was terribly saddened by her impossible love with Hamlet. Ophelia was almost driven mad by the impossible love with Hamlet. She went out to gather flowers on a tree, but unfortunately, the branch broke and she fell into the water. Thanks to her dress, she was able to float for a while before drowning down into the water. But all through this process, she was happily singing. Interestingly, despite the upside down position of the young man, the artist named this painting Up. I actually saw a Hamlet floating on the water this time, probably torturing himself with the question to be or not to be. Well, after seeing all this water, why not get even more wetter with more water? We have this plain looking glass on the table, which generates torrents of water. Welcome to the magic world created by the Spanish Mexican artist Remedios Vero. Vero is one of my favorite surrealist artists. I've already seen her paintings on the internet, but this is the first time that I was able to see her paintings so closely that I could carefully examine every detail and admire her sublime brushstrokes. Unfortunately, the glass window made it impossible to photograph the entire painting, which is called Sympathy, the Madness of the Cat, which was painted in 1955 by the artist. Here we have a lady with this monster cat who probably knocked down the glass and caused this water accident. Water, water everywhere. Let us conclude this quick visit with this naughty cat. If you have the chance, do not miss the Venice Biennale. There are plenty of surprises there for you. Thank you for your time. See you next time.